So, Brittany, you know, we've asked you about your biggest triumph and you shared that with us. So kind of on the flip side of that, what do you consider to be your biggest mistake? Maybe not a regret or disappointment, but just one of those things where you're like, man, <laughs> you got one yeah. of those? Wonderful question. So my biggest mistake was not becoming bilingual. Mm. Let me explain. Okay. So I started taking French when I was in elementary school. Then I didn't have to take it in middle school. And then when I got to high school, I went to a college preparatory high school. So a foreign language was required all four years of school. So I naturally took French because I had taken it in middle, or excuse me, in elementary school. And I love the language. And so because I took it for four years in high school, when I got to college and it was time to take the placement test for the foreign language course, there were four required classes for any major for uh, required mm -hmm. foreign language classes. But because I had taken it for four years in high school and had taken it in elementary school, I tested into the last of those four classes. Mm -hmm. So I was able to knock off three classes, you know, before I even started college. Wonderful. So I was so excited that after I took that last French class, I stopped. Mm -hmm. I should have kept going yeah. because my mother, again, as an educator, she at this point, I'm like, okay, she knows a lot about this stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I finally have come to terms with that. My French teacher in high school was telling her about when I was still in high school, she was just like, oh, she's just so good. And just please make sure she sticks with it. And then I was just really pumped to be in college and to like knock these classes out. So I stopped. And my junior year of college, so I was done freshman year, my junior year, I realized that that, that I had made a mistake. I was mm -hmm. like, you know, it is very valuable to know a, a second language. You know, there's all kinds of opportunities that can be opened up for me. So I tried to pick it back up in the next class was French conversation. But because I had not studied the right. language years, I was not prepared for French conversation. Sure. And so I believe I went to the class maybe one or two days before, like the beginning of the school year when you can still drop a class if you need to. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wasn't, I wasn't going to do well if I stayed. So I dropped the class. And to this day, you know, I still, I'm just like, man, that was a mistake. I really should have pursued having I really should have majored or excuse me minor in French because it, really? it I really loved learning the the language I loved learning about the culture and I remember one time I went to Morocco where French I believe is their second or third language and I could read some of the things that were written in French like pieces of it I could kind of interpret some of it but I remember I went with one of, I went with a few friends, one of which I one of whom I went to high school with, and okay. she was actually speaking the language. And I was like, man, like I should be I should be speaking the language with you, you know. So that's definitely something that I find to be a mistake because it could have I could have fixed it. Mm. Well, you're doing OK now, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know. you're right and I and I told and my mom is always on me about that and I told her that I will be relearning the language with my baby while she's learning it for the first time I'm going to be learning it there again with her I like that mm -hmm.